Hello children. Welcome back to your literature class of standard 3. I hope that besides studies, you are taking good care of your health. Drinking lots of water, eating fresh fruits, vegetables and taking healthy diet. I hope that you are doing exercises, yogas and other physical activities to keep yourself fit and healthy. So children, today we will revise chapter number 5. Do you remember the name of that chapter? Yes, the name of the chapter is The Tale of Peter Rabbit written by Beatrix Potter. Children, you should remember the name of the chapter as well as the author's name. Right? So, this story is about a rabbit whose name was Peter and he was very naughty. He never followed his mother's instruction. This story describes an incident that happened with Peter when he did not follow his mother's instruction. Peter lived with his mother Mrs. Rabbit and siblings Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail in a sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. One morning, his mother was going to buy some bread. Before leaving, she instructed her kids that they might go into the fields or down the lane, but not to go into Mr. MacGregor's garden. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail were good little bunnies and they followed their mother's instruction. They went down the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, he ran straight away to Mr. MacGregor's garden where his mother told him not to go and squeezed in the garden from under the gate. After entering Mr. MacGregor's garden, first he ate some lettuce. Lettuce is a plant with large green leaves that can be eaten raw. And then he ate some French beans and then he ate some radishes too. After eating such a lot, he started feeling sick. So, he went to look for some parsley. Parsley is a plant whose leaves can be eaten as a cure for stomach ache. But when he went to look for some parsley, he met there Mr. Mac. Gregor. Mr. MacGregor was on his hands and knees planting cabbages. But as soon as he saw Peter, he jumped up and ran after Peter, waving a rack and calling out, Stop thief! Peter was very badly frightened. He rushed all over the garden because he had forgotten the way back to the gate. Unfortunately, Peter ran into a gooseberry net. A gooseberry net is a net put around a gooseberry bush to protect the fruits from being eaten by the birds. So Peter got caught by the large buttons on his blue jacket into a gooseberry net. When Mr. Gregor saw that Peter was got caught by his large buttons, he came up with a sieve. Sieve, as you can see in the picture, 
is a net in a circular frame and he wanted to catch Peter with the help of that sieve. He wanted to pop upon the top of Peter that sieve. But just in time, Peter twisting and by twisting and turning his body, he, he escaped from that gooseberry net. He rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in. But it had enough water in it. And because of that, Peter started feeling cold as he was completely wet. In the meanwhile, Mr. McGregor was searching for Peter in the tool shed as he was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed. He began to turn the flower pots one by one because he was sure that Peter might be under any one of the fl flower pot. He wanted to find Peter and teach him a lesson. Just then, Peter sneezed. Achoo! And Mr. McGregor was after him in no time. When Peter realized that it was not safe to be inside the can, he jumped out of a window which was in the tool shed. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor and he was tired of running after Peter. So he went back to his work. Peter did not stop running or looking behind him till he reached home. He was so tired that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand on the floor of the rabbit hole. Peter was not very well during the evening, so his mother put him to bed and gave him a dose of chamomile tea, a kind of tea which is used as a cure for a stomach ache. But Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper because they were good little bunnies. So children, our chapter is over here. You also be good children, follow your parents instruction, stay safe, take care, bye bye.